Hello, my precious family. I just want to say God bless you. Happy Sabbath day. And I would love to share a scripture that came very strong. I prayed and I opened the Bible and the Lord led me to the book of Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 21 through 46. And, it, and it's called God's judgment on Babylon. So it's, I just want to invite the Holy Spirit to speak. Holy Spirit of God, I invite you where I'm at, Holy Spirit. I pray that may these words be known to many of the children of God. May Jesus' name be known. Jesus, you are the King of kings, Lord of lords. We praise you and honor you and love you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. May we be focused to you, Lord. May our eyes and ears to be with you, our hearts, our body, our mind, our soul, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support of each day, Lord. Thank you for everything you have done, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, and I love you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, my precious family. It says, the Lord says, attack the people of Merthina and of Perica. Kill and destroy them. Do everything I command you. I, the Lord, have spoken. The noise of battle is heard in the land, and there is great destruction. Babylonia hammered the whole world to pieces, and now the hammer is scattered. All the nations are shook at what has happened to that country. Babylon, you fought against me, and you have been caught in the trap I have set for you. Even though you did not know it, I have opened the place where my Weapons are stored, and in my anger I have taken them out, because the servant Lord Almighty have worked to do it in Babylon. Attack it from every side and break open the place where its grain is stored. Pile up the loot like piles of grain. Destroy the country. Leave nothing at all. Kill all their soldiers. Slaughter them. The people of Babylon are doomed. The time has come for them to pun to be punished. Refugees ex escaped from Babylon and came to Jerusalem, and they tell how the Lord our God took revenge for what the Babylonian has done to his temple. Tell the anchors to attack Babylon. Send out everyone who knows how to use the bow and arrow. Surrender the city and do not let anyone escape. Pay it back for all it has done and treat it as it has treated others because it acted with pride against me, the Holy One of Israel. So its young men will be killed in the city streets and all its soldiers will be destroyed on the day I, the Lord, have spoken. Babylonia, you have filled with pride. So I, the Son Lord Almighty, am against you. The time has come for me to punish you. Your pride nation will stumble and fall, and no one will help you up. I will set your cities on fire, and everything around will be destroyed. The Lord Almighty says the people of Israel and of Judah are oppressed. All who capture them are guarding them closely and will, and will not let them go. But the one who will rescue them is strong. His name is the Lord Almighty. Ooh, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He himself will take up their case and will bring peace to the earth, but trouble to people of Babylonia. The Lord says, death to Babylonia, death to his people, to his rulers, to his people wisdom, death to his lying prophets, what fools they are, death to his soldiers, how terrible they are, death to his horses and chariots, death to his higher soldiers. How weak they are. Destroy its treasures. Plunder and loot. Bring the dirt on the land and dry up its rivers. Babylon is a land of terrifying idols. They have made fools of the people. And so Babylon I will be haunt and so Babylon will be haunted by demons and evil spirits and by unclean birds. Never again will people live there, not for all time to come. The same thing will happen to Babylon that will happen to Sodom and Gomorrah 
when I destroy them and the nearby towns, no one will ever live there again. I, the Lord, have spoken. People are coming from a country in the north, a mighty nation far away. Many kings are preparing for war. They have taken their bows and swords. They are cruel and their missiles. They sound like the roaring sea as they ride their horses. They are riding for battle against Babylon. The king of Babylon hears the news and his hands hang limp. He is seized by anguish, by pain like a woman in labor, like a lion coming out of the thick woods along the Jordan up to the green pasture land. I, the Lord, will come and make the Babylonians run away suddenly from their city. Then the leaders I choose will rule the nation. Who can be compared to me? Who would dare challenge me? What ruler could oppress me? So listen to the plan that I have made against the city of Babylon, and to what I intend to do to his people. Even their children will be dragged off, and everyone will be horrified. When Babylon falls, there will, will be such a noise that the entire earth will shake, and the cities of alarm will be heard by other nations. I just want to repeat this one. When Babylon falls, there will be such a noise that the entire earth will shake, and the cities of alarm will, I'm sorry, and the cries of the alarm will be heard. By other nations. Ooh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, my precious family. So this is a scripture that God has led me today. Thank you, Holy Father, Holy Son, Holy Spirit. It's called God's judgment on Babylon. So my precious family, God bless you. So I pray that you read this scriptures at home and um, may the Holy Spirit give you an understanding through it. And I Thank you. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Stay strong to the end. I love you, my precious family. Jesus loves you. God bless you.